Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Arise from thy slumber, arise from thy sleep. It's time to arise and command your morning. Welcome back to the Inner Man with this week edition of Commanding Your Morning, taking dominion over your week. This is A.B. Harris declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord. A blessed Monday morning to you all and I hope you had a wonderful weekend. For this weekend was a reminder of the mighty resurrection that took place on the cross uh, after the cross of Calvary rather. This was a reminder of Jesus Christ, the resurrection uh, and the life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, this is a week uh, of victory as we are here to command our morning and take dominion over our week. Uh, we are reminded uh, of the victory over the cross, uh, the victory over death, the victory over principalities uh, and power, the triumphant victory victory of jesus christ our lord blessed be the name of jesus let us turn to ephesians 1 and we're going to read through verse 19 to 23 and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead uh, and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places uh, for far above um, all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name um, that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and that put all things under his feet uh, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church um, which is his body the fullness of him that filleth all things. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And glory to the mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The scripture said, He is exalted far, exceedingly far, exceedingly great above all principalities and powers, all dominion and might. The Lord Jesus is our victory. So as we exhort this morning, as we declare the word of God this morning, we are exhorting from a place of victory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Remember I said to you, he is the resurrection and the life. And this week is a reminder. Hallelujah, Jesus. This week was a reminder this month of the passover is a reminder of the mighty god jesus of nazareth oh blessed be the name of jesus this week charge is on the devices of the enemy and as i said to you last week was an introduction to spiritual warfare now we're going to look at the devices of the enemy who is this enemy? Who is our enemy? He is the enemy of our soul. He is the enemy of all things good. He is the enemy of our life. He is the enemy of our destiny and our calling. This is the same devil, the accuser of the brethren, the father of all lies, the murderer. And Satan is the crafty deceiver. This is uh, the enemy, the same person, whatever name uh, you want to call him, whatever false god uh, you want to name him. He is the enemy of all things that is righteous hallelujah the bible said he's a murderer from the beginning he is a murderer hallelujah jesus is the father of all liars hallelujah blessed be the name of jesus christ of nazareth now as we expose the devices of the enemy we need to understand that the greatest tool of the enemy is deception all of his devices fall under the bracket of deception hallelujah jesus now satan deceives people by turning to truth of god makurabashanda not turning the truth of god but he deceives people by trying to to change what is truth what do i mean by that he cannot change the truth because the truth is is is, is unchangeable but what he does he, he tries to take what is truth and mix it with lies to make it look like lies. He, he tries to corrupt things and that's how he deceives people. So for example, he puts 90% truth and 10% lie. But we know that part truth is a full lie. So he is a deceiver. He tries to deceive people by making things look attractive, making it look right, making it look like this is the way. When in fact it's not, it's not the truth, neither is it the way. When you look around us and you see all of these um, 
false denomination and false churches and false religion what do they have in common what they have in common is that they they they, they speak of jesus for example they mention jesus one and two time in their in their messages but when you go under that what they're speaking you see the practices are of the devil you see who they really worship is the devil they just know the name of jesus but he's not their god that's how the devil deceived people oh glory to god let us take a closer look into the scriptures turn with me to second corinthians 2 in verse 11 he said lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of the devil devices you see when you're ignorant of the devil's devices uh, then he will get advantage of you hallelujah blessed be the name of jesus uh, this is why jesus christ is wisdom he is the wisdom of god he is the way the truth and the life uh, now second corinthians eleven fourteen 14 said and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light why would Satan transform into an angel of light. What it is but to deceive people. Deception is his greatest tool. And Revelation 12, 9 just laid out plain for us. It said, and the great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil. And Satan who deceived it. What? Who deceived it? Who deceived it the whole world. He was cast out onto the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. The scriptures cannot lie. Revelation is unfolding and telling us that he is the deceiver. He who deceived the whole world, that old serpent. When you think of the term old serpent, you're thinking of a, a trickster. You're thinking of a miser. You're thinking of some deceiver. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. The greatest device of Satan is deception. And all, every single one of his devices falls under deception because it's all to deceive. The Bible said that the enemy come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He is the deceiver. He is the deceiver. The Bible call him the God of this cosmos, the world, the system of the world. Rebendio Shire, for we know that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, but the systems of this world. Akondobo Shire was given over Amashiondorobo Satya in the book of Genesis when we see that Adam um, disobeyed God when the enemy deceived Eve. He deceived Eve because in the scriptures, in the book of Genesis, he said to Eve, did God truly say that you, you cannot eat from this tree? Did God truly say that? You see how cunning and deceptive he is and then trying to tell Eve, but, 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 uh, trying to tell Eve that God knows that when they eat from the fruit, they will know um, knowledge between good and evil and they will be like God. You see that deceiver? He, he, he plans lies and deception. He tried to, to turn your mind against the word of God. He tried to sow doubt. He tries to make you question what you know to be truth. He tried to make you question what the word says to be truth. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. We glorify God for he is the revealer of secrets and he's revealing the secrets of my Shandio size, revealing the devices of the enemy. You see, God made Satan with wisdom, but Satan's wisdom is darkened. And this is how we deceive people by this dark and corruptible wisdom. Because wisdom is a principal thing and wisdom is light. But because God has already gifted this devil, this wisdom when he made it. Because it says so in the scripture, and we're going to read it from the book of Ezekiel. If Ezekiel 28 verse 17, it says, Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou art, com yeah, thou art corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. His wisdom is corrupted. 
Iniquity corrupted his wisdom. Pride, the desire to be like God, corrupted his wisdom. So no longer is he, um, his wisdom is light, but it's darkened. Corrupted wisdom is, is dark wisdom, and it's that dark wisdom that he used to betray. Not betray. Well, he's betraying, but he used it to deceive people. Satan is the deceiver and the betrayer of all things good and righteous. Satan uses this corrupt wisdom to deceive mankind. We see in the book of Revelation on the 12th chapter where it's saying that he deceived all the world. But it's by this wisdom. It's by this wisdom. Look in the scriptures and search the scriptures. When you look at Joseph and you look at Daniel, you see how the wisdom of God in them was used to save people to preserve nation to bring light and understanding but this deceiver used dark wisdom to try to to hide light and understanding to try to to to, to bring evil in the hearts of men he tried to you he uses the words look what he said to eve did god surely say Trying to make her question what she know to be light and truth. Hallelujah, Jesus. The serpent, the old serpent, the strongest and most powerful part of the serpent is its mouth. And the Bible tells us about the tongue, the small organ, yet it controls the whole body. Mando Koshatoria, Jesus. Oga, Rebbe Kosandia. Wisdom that is corrupted can only operate in deception. You see some people in the world that you think to be wise and you wonder how are they so deceptive yet, yet, yet they deceive people with such wisdom. In, you know, you, you watch some of those movies and you see these uh, old men then. And he said, they're so wise. It's like they're a step ahead. But you know what they're doing is evil, dark wisdom, wisdom that is corrupted. That's what the enemy used. Now, what are some of the devices that the enemy used to deceive people? As I mentioned before, false religion. Satan will use false religion as a device to deceive people by causing you to think that you are worshipping God when in fact you are not worshipping God. Look around you. All these false religion, they want to make it seem like, these people want to make it seem that like they are serving God. But they're not willing to accept the truth. They want to accept what they think is the bare minimum. Oh, I'm not killing. I'm not stealing. I'm not doing this. But yet still, they are not worshipping the true and living God. A lot of these religions out there, false God, all of them is false God they're worshipping. The only religion that is true is the, is the religion that acknowledge the Father and the Son that believe everything written in the scriptures. That is truth. We see the Muslims. They believe Jesus is just a prophet. The Buddhists believe in this uh, uh, sage, Buddha. He's, he's just a sage. You know, the Hindu believe in a million different gods. I don't know how they keep track of that. But, you know, just an understanding of the lie the enemy paints. And all of these uh, different denominations, how they are deceived. And they will not believe the word of God to be the truth. These same people question the word of God. Dark wisdom, dark understanding, false religion and false teaching. The enemy devices. This is one of the greatest devices used as far as religion. Because if you look around you, a lot of people are religious but they are not following christ a lot of people are spiritual but they are not coming through the door which is jesus christ of nazareth you see the scripture says that he who doesn't believe he who doesn't confess the father and the son is the antichrist he is the Antichrist. You must acknowledge the Father and the Son. That's what the scripture says. Rebe in the book of John. Remandiosa, Jesus, O God Almighty. All these four religions always try to acknowledge God. They speak about God. They speak by saying, oh, yes, there is a God. There is a, a, a creator. There is a supreme being. There is some supreme being, but when you tell them about Jesus, oh my God, it's like you have offended them. 
They want to acknowledge the existence of God, but don't want to see that the same God is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, Jesus. My God, my God. It's time to destroy and expose the devices of the enemy. It's trying to put them. We are, we are putting them to open shame. For the Bible said he publicly embarrassed. He triumphed over principalities and power. What else are Satan devices? He used witchcraft. He used curses. Evil altars and covenants. I won't have time to go through all of these things. But satan uses these things to trap and deceive people covenant when he was uh, when when he appeared on the mount to tempt the lord after the 40 days of fasting that's what he was trying to do he's trying to use a covenant trying to get a vow but i'm um, telling the lord he, he, let me tell you that devil is something else how can you tell the lord god who made all things that if he worship you you will give him these things if you are the if you are the son of God, then do this. If you are, are, have all power, then do this. He's tempting God. He's trying to get, he was trying to get Christ to come into covenant with him. This is though he traps people. He traps a lot of people through what we call evil covenants. Evil covenants. He traps a lot of people by their, their, their um, ancestors making altars and devotion to him by curse and witchcraft all manner of evil cutting themselves drinking blood and eating flesh all these practices this is what he used to deceive people tricking them that either it's going to bring them closer to god or they're going to get some spiritual access and spiritual understanding but this is all a lie because every single thing that you receive from the devil you are trading in your soul every everything that that devil come present you with it's only to steal your one and only soul. Satan uses lies. He uses lies. That's one of his greatest deception. Jesus. The greatest lie he's using to deceive people right now is people who are lukewarm. Some of them Christians, some of them not even Christians. Thinking them that they can believe in God and continue to live reckless lives in the world. He uses lies. Satan uses charm things. He uses enchantment. In this very day, he's deceiving people through many things like yoga, sage med meditation, new age, accursed things and symbols. These, these rings and these... um. That, um, you call them God rings and these chains, these accursed things and symbols using to deceive and to mark people. But people are not aware of these things because they have already believed in his lie. Right now, if we look around us, what's happening on TV? What are we seeing on the television? An increase of false gods, idols, the homosexual agenda, fornication, all manner of evil. And he, this is what he used also to deceive people. How does he use this to deceive people? He tried to appeal to their emotion. He is the greatest deceiver. He plays upon your emotion. When you watch these TV shows, you're, you're, you, you're thinking, oh, but um, these people are just in love. They, they, they're not doing anything evil. The lies. The lies. Satan will call you to believe a lie. By using the, the majority to make it seem like it is okay. He used the majority of people who are doing wrong. That you start questioning yourself and saying, well, if everyone is doing it, then it must be okay. But it's not okay. It's not okay. This devil uses so much ways to deceive people. But it all falls under deception. All these devices come through deception. But Matthew 17, 13 says... Broad is the way that leads to destruction. Broad is the way. And this is the broad way that Satan is using to destroy the entire world. Because every person is taking that broad way. But today we are here in the name of Jesus uh, to destroy the devices of the enemy. Let us arise in the name of Jesus uh, and to destroy uh, the works of the enemy. For all principalities and powers are beneath our feet. Might and dominion are beneath our feet. Satan and the whole kingdom of darkness.
they are beneath our feet. Rebecca Sunday about Shatamandiosa. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. People of God, it's time to awake. It's time to destroy the device of the enemy. For he is the deceiver. From the beginning, he was a deceiver. And he continues to be a deceiver. Hallelujah, Jesus. Satan uses what you have to deceive you. Because the Bible said you are made in the image of God. When you decree and declare a thing, it shall come to pass. Yet he's using you, deceiving you, using you as an instrument to curse your own self and to destroy your own life. Is a deceiver. Let me tell you this. Satan cannot promise you anything because he owns nothing. Read the scriptures. He's going to be bound in the end. He's already defeated. His faith is already defined. He cannot keep any promise to you. There's only one God and one Lord, and He is the God that keeps covenant. Don't let this devil deceive you and use his devices to manipulate and destroy you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let us arise and command our morning. Let us arise and pray and take dominion. Oh, Shandala Basete, Mandare Sikoturia, Mandara Bashekeya, Namandurubo Sika Turibion Durubusha. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Lord, we magnify you, O oh God, for you are victorious. You are triumphant. Rabandereke Soturamandu Koshoturbo Sianda. Oh, Lord God, you are both principal. Is and powers, remendo kosotorobo shandai. For it is written, O God, he kalaba shandai. That God that Ali exalted you, Jesus, Rebeke sotorobo shandara makuraba sandai, and giving you a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Rebeke sotorobo shia. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. You are seated in heavenly places, O King of Glory. Oh Lord God Almighty, O oh ancient of days, oh we glorify you, O oh Lamb of God. We magnify you, O oh Victor. We magnify you, O oh King of glory. For victory is thine, Lord. The power belongs to you, God Almighty. You are the head of principles and powers. You are Jehovah the everlasting. You are Elohim Robondianamakusu. Turbosha, Rebecca Soturia Mandorbosha, who will lift up your name, Jesus, who will magnify your name, Jesus. Oh God, you are the just and true, you are the faithful and the wonderful, the great high priest, the bishop of our souls. Oh, we magnify this morning, Lord God. Oh, wash us in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God. Burn out every iniquity out of our hearts with holy fire, O oh God. Burn out every deception, every root of darkness. Burn it out of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, arise and glorify yourself, God. Loose your lightning bolt and discomfort the works of darkness, O God. Holy fire, consume every device of the enemy, O God. Destroy the darkness of his dark wisdom. We rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. The Lord God of us rebuke you. We rebuke you, accuser of the virgin. And we declare that the blood of Jesus testify a great a testimony. Mandelebeke soturia mandoshia. Rekianama soturbo shianda. Rekelaba soturbo shia. Oh God, arise. Arise, oh God, and let your enemies be scattered. For the earth belong to you, oh God. The heaven is your throne. Ilamandiosha. And the earth is your footstool, oh mighty God. You are a big God. You're full of the heaven and the earth. We magnify you, oh God. Far above thrones. Far above dominions, far above principality. Oh, the heavens of heavens cannot contain you. Oh, God, the upper heavens cannot contain you. Be thou lifted up, be thou magnified. We declare, we declare in the name of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that is up against us, oh God, already you sent it in judgment. Oh, the sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. For 
For you have preserved us from all evil. You have preserved our souls, our going out and our coming from this time forward, even until forevermore. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. We rebuke every witchcraft. We rebuke every dark magic. We rebuke every enchantment. We send fire to overtake and burn and to destroy every spirit of manipulation. We send fire to disrupt and destroy the demonic channel. We release the javelin of the Lord to destroy the strong man. We bind the strong man and we take charge of the city. We shake wickedness out of the city. We plead the blood of Jesus over every curse, every accursed thing. We send fire to destroy every evil altar. We plead the blood against every evil covenant. Shanda God, who the sun set free and free indeed. Arise and liberate your people. Arise and set your people free, O oh God. Freedom from the lies of the enemy. Freedom from the lies of the enemy. O oh God, give us a deserting heart to discern between good and evil. O oh God, wash our discernment in the blood of the Lamb. Oh God, that we try everything would I be of you, oh God. Oh God, shine your light to expose every darkness. Let every stone shanda be child. Let nothing be left unturned. Rika Soto. Every hiding place we expose it. We destroy the plans of the enemy. We cast down every stronghold and every high thing. Everything that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. We bring you down into captivity on the obedience of Jesus. We declare the excellence of the wisdom of God that bringeth light shall be upon us. We rebuke every dark wisdom. We rebuke every corrupt thing. We break by fire every evil devices. We break the powers of principles and powers. We destroy their stronghold. We play the blood against their wicked and evil dominion. Oh God Almighty, let the weak say I am strong for the mighty that think they are mighty. They cannot overthrow the people of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we plead the blood of Jesus over this Monday morning. We take authority. We take jurisdictional authority. We take regional authority. We take authority over the city. We pull down every stronghold. We pull down every item. We Pull down every corrupting in the name of Jesus. We take authority over the Tuesday and the Wednesday, the Thursday and the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We break the wicked stronghold of darkness. We break every evil dominion. We break every evil thing. We declare victory. We declare Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. We speak life over the city. We rebuke violence. We rebuke infirmity. We rebuke every corrupt and every dark thing. The blood of Jesus is against you. Zoto Ramandio Shire. Remando Kosoto Rabasha. Glorify yourself, my Father, and exalt your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. If you are listening to this recording, hallelujah. If you are listening to this broadcast this morning, and you have not yet received life, you have not yet uh, surrendered yourself to Jesus Christ, uh, this is the opportunity. You can go ahead and repeat after me. Just focus your eyes uh, on the Lord. Uh, focus your eyes on the Lord in this moment. Uh, for the scripture said that we should confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, and that God sent him and he rose from the dead uh, and we shall be saved. Uh, repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus. I come before you a sinner, O God. Forgive me of my sins, O dear Lord. Forgive me of all my unrighteousness. I believe, Jesus, that you are Lord, that you are the Son of the living God, that you died on the cross of Calvary for my sins, that I may be set free. 
and that you rose again the third day and you are seated in heavenly places at the right hand of god the father lord i commit myself to you Lord, I put my hope and trust in you. Oh, Jesus, make me a servant. Make me a disciple. Wash my sins away and write my name, oh God, in the book of life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And blessed be the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Next week. We'll be looking at, the, looking at the weapons of our warfare, the spiritual weapons of our warfare. Until next time, this is A.B. Arx declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord. Have a blessed week. Shalom, shalom. God bless you.